In this video, we will try to understand how to find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load throughout the span and a central point load. Now the problem statement is given over here. A simply supported beam of span 10 meter carries a center load of 25 kilonewton and a uniformly distributed load of 25 kilonewton per meter throughout the span find the support reactions. So the arrangement of the beam is as shown over here. So the central point load is of 25 kilonewton magnitude and uniformly distributed load is of 25 kilonewton per meter. It means that for one meter length, the load that is acting is 25 kilonewton. Now, as it is a rectangular distribution or uniform distribution, we'll have to convert this particular uniformly distributed load into a point load. So if for one meter, the load that is acting is 25 kilonewton, then for 10 meter, it will be 25 into 10 and it will be acting at the center that is centroid of the rectangular distribution that is the center point. But there is already a load of 25 kilonewton which is acting at the center. So 25 into 10 will get added to this particular load. So we'll remove this particular uniformly distributed load and will convert it into a point load. So already we are having a central point load of 25 kilonewton to that 25 into 10 that is indicated by this particular red part that is 250. So 250 plus 25 that is 275 kilonewton load will be acting at the center. So now we have converted this particular arrangement of the simply supported beam from the uniformly distributed load into a point load arrangement. Now we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium over here. So applying the conditions of equilibrium, the first condition is that summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. So we'll convert upward forces positive and downward forces as negative. So as you can see over here, RA and RB, these are the reactions which are acting in the upward direction. So those are positive. Whereas this 275 kiloton load, it is acting in the downward direction. So it is negative. Now transfer this negative 275 on the right hand side, it will become positive. Call it as equation 1. Now we will take moment about point A, considering clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. Now we will start from this RB. The arrow of this RB will go in the anti-clockwise direction towards A. So it will produce negative moment. So it is minus RB and the perpendicular distance from B up to A is 10. Whereas this 275 kiloton point load will produce clockwise moment. So this downward acting arrow will produce clockwise moment about point A. So it will produce the clockwise moment and 275 and distance between C and A is 5 meter. So that is indicated over here. RA itself it passes through point A. So it will not have any moment about that particular point A. Now transfer this negative term on the other side, it will become positive. So 275 into 5 divided by 10. So this 10 which is in the multiplication over here will come in on this side in the division. So we will get RB is equal to 137.5 kilonewton. Now we have to substitute this value in equation 1 so that we will get the value of RA. So substitute the value of RB in equation 1. So from equation 1 we can say that RA will be equal to 275 minus RB. Now substitute the value of RB. So RB is 137.5. So RA is equal to 275 minus 137.5. So therefore RA is also equal to 137.5 kilonewton. So in this way we can find out the reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load and a point load at the center. Thank you very much for watching.